Okay boys and girls, welcome back. In this video I'm going to answer a question from one of the subscribers that asked how can we use BAS to post content onto Web 2.0 properties such as WordPress, Sites, Google Sites and so on and so forth. Well, you can use the template feature which is included in BAS to take some text and spin it, okay, which I'm going to show you in a minute to make unique content. Okay guys? So if you don't know what spinning is or spun content, it's a way to take an um, article that already exists and change the wording um, to make it unique content. So I'm going to show you now. I'm using Spin Chief's uh, free spinner. Okay, and I'll put the link in the description. It's free. To, they've got a free version that you can use. Their upgraded version is um, a lot better, meaning that it has a lot more synonyms and uh, words in the dictionary. Uh, but go over there, they've got a free version, um, which I'm going to use for this demonstration. So I've took a random uh, <laughs> sentence, it's about plumbers, okay? And what I'm going to do is use the auto spin feature, and then I'm just going to leave the sentence as they are, and I'm going to hit spin, okay? And you can see the, the sentence has been changed and it looks a bit weird so I'm just going to go over what's happened here the bot is using spun text and what that means you can see the curly uh, braces and then we have we know and then a pipe and then we all know and then a pipe and then we realize and then the curly uh, braces and what that does is tell um, a bot to use one of these vari uh, variations when um, making a sentence. So the bot's gonna come along and either pick we know, we all know, or we realize, and then it's gonna move on to the next spun text, and it's gonna either pick homeowners, um, home, uh, um, homeowners one word, homeowners with a gap, property owners, or house owners, and so on and so forth, guys. So you can make spun text by hand, or you can use a program such as the Spinner Chief uh, free version there's other programs out there that do the same thing as well okay guys and what you can do is once you've got your spun text okay I'm just going to copy it over and all I've done on bass is made a resource which is just a string a fixed string okay and I'm just going to hit record I'm not actually I'm going to hit save <laughs> and by the way guys uh, this template is going to be in the description okay so you can link to this and have a little play around with it i just want to mention too guys um the bass automation studio course and support is now available you can get your hands on that the link is in the description um, where we take you from a bass newbie to a bass god so uh, check that out guys it's available now it, and there's also an option to have support with the course as well so check that out Okay, so once we've got our spun text, let's hit record and text to process. That's the only resource that we've got. So I'm just going to paste our spun text in there like so. I'm going to hit OK and come over to Bass, to the uh, script editor. And what I'm going to use here, guys, is under tools, there's an option called template. So I'm going to hit that. And we have options here. Um, it's already ticked to expand on spun text, which is what this video is about. Expand variables and resources means you can use a, um, a variable or resources in here to use the spun text or work with. And then there's an option to use additional processing. Use this option if you want to load templates from a file or variable. So that's what we definitely need to tick here, okay? And where it says template, and we've got this big box, this multi-line box, I'm just going to add our resource, which is called text to process, where we've got our spun text. We're gonna hit next, and then okay, and then we're done. We're just gonna hit okay. And what's gonna happen is that every time that the bot um, comes to this template, it's gonna take that text and it's gonna spin and give us a, vari a variation of that article that we inputted. So then what I'm gonna do just to demonstrate is in the toolbox function again called log, I'm just going to output the variable that it made which is called template result. 
So what's happened here guys, if, is we've come to the script editor, we've come to the toolbox, we've chosen the option template, okay? We've put in our, uh, sorry, our resource text to process, which holds our spun text that we've made using the spin chief free spinner, okay? We've hit okay, oops, just done it twice. Okay, and then after that, in the same toolbox to of tools, we've hit the log and we've just made it output to um, the BAS program to output the template result, which is the variable that holds our spun article. Okay, so if we press that, and we move on to the next block, and then we check our BAS log, we'll see that we have two verifications, um, two variations of the same sentence. There we go, you can see that they're different here, and we can come back and move execution point here, and go again, let's check out the log, and you'll see that every time that we've pressed it and run through the script, that the sentence that come up, comes out has been spun and is different from the last one. We know property owners, we know homeowners, we realize homeowners, see they're all different. And then you could then use that template result and then um, paste it in your uh, WordPress or your Google sites or any web 2.0 or any website and blog that you need unique content for. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Just a final note, make sure you check out the newly released um, BAS course. It's really good. It's updated every week with two to three new videos. It's a course that's never really finished because it's always been updated and new content is always being added. When you uh, sign up, then you're in it for life. You get lifetime access and access to all updates. The link is in the description, guys. Make sure you check that out, and I'll see you in the next video.